It's championship weekend. We have the Lions at the 49ers and the Chiefs at the Ravens. I couldn't be more excited about these games. It's been the first time in a long, long time that I think the four best teams in the NFL are playing in the conference championship games. For the first time since 1991, the Detroit Lions are in the NFC championship game. I am really excited for Lions fans. It should be a ton of fun. Derek Barnes had that interception heard around the world last weekend of Baker Mayfield stamping their ticket to this NFC Championship game. In today's video, we are gonna break down the Lions versus the 49ers. I'm gonna give you all the details you need to make your bets, your predictions, your picks, all the stuff you need to get ready for this NFC Championship game. The 49ers are the home team. They are one of the best, if not the best team on paper in the NFL. They're heading to their third straight NFC Championship game. They want to get last year's loss back to Philly. Brock Purdy got hurt early in that game, and the Eagles were able to dominate after that point and punch their ticket to the Super Bowl last year. The 49ers are hungry, and I think they have a good chance of winning this game, but the Lions are really good. They have a stout offensive line. Jared Goff is playing some of the best football of his career. It's going to be an exciting game, and I think it's going to come down to the wire. I think for the Detroit Lions to win this game, Jared Goff is going to need to absolutely ball out. The dude has been that dude the last two weeks. He's looked really good. Ratings over 100 in each of those games. He's looked incredible. The 49ers are going to score a lot of points against this secondary. It will probably be a shit ton of points. So Jared Goff is going to have to go for, I think, over 300 yards and three touchdowns to win this game. Last week versus Tampa Bay, he was great. 287, two tutties, and 103 rate. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career, 30 touchdowns to only 12 interceptions, and about a 98 rate. The dude has been great. The trade has worked out very, very well for both teams. The Rams got that Super Bowl and Lions fans are hoping they're going to get their Super Bowl with a win this weekend against the 49ers. Jared Goff has been leading this Detroit offense to about 27 points per game, which is good for fifth in the regular season and they're ranked third in yards per game. They go up against a very, very stingy, solid San Francisco defense. This Fred Warner-led defense only gave up 17.5 points per game during the regular season. That's third best in the NFL, and they were eighth in yards per game allowed. They have an excellent pass defense. They're fourth versus the pass, and they're tied for first with 22 interceptions. So Jared Goff, Amon St. Brown, and Sam Laporta, and those great running backs in Montgomery and Gibbs, they have a lot of work to do, guys. On the flip side of the ball, CMC, Christian McCaffrey will be the man for whom the bell tolls. I think San Francisco's chances of winning this game are exponentially higher if Christian McCaffrey goes for over 75 yards. During this season, including the playoffs, they are 11-1 and when CMC rushes for over 75 yards. 49ers rush offense is third in yards per game and eighth in attempts. But they are dead last in passing attempts. That tells me two things. They're very efficient, and they like to pound the rock. Is Christian McCaffrey the best player in the NFL? I really think that he is. If you take him off the San Francisco 49ers, they are a completely different team. He's first all pro this year, so the NFL thinks he is the best running back. And in my opinion, he is definitely in the top three of best players in the NFL. Last week, McCaffrey went 17 carries for 98 yards and two touchdowns. That's 5.8 yards per carry. The Lions have not been great versus the run in the playoffs. In fact, their defense has been pretty cheeks all around in the playoffs. It's really hard to continue to win games in the NFL when your defense is giving up 4.7 yards per carry in the playoffs and over 350 yards through the air. However, the Lions' rush defense was a lot better in the regular season. They were ranked third, only giving up 3.5 yards per carry during the regular season. One of the 
best rush defenses in the entire NFL. Which rush defense is going to show up for the Detroit Lions? Because if it's going to be the rush defense of the last two weeks, giving up you know close to five yards per carry, that's not going to get it done. Christian McCaffrey is going to carry the ball about 20 times. He's probably going to catch another seven to ten passes out of the backfield. They really got to stop Christian McCaffrey if they want to win this game. Staying with San Francisco offense, what Brock Purdy is going to show up? He was okay last week. Before that last drive to win the game, he was only around 200 yards and completing about 50% of his passes. I know it was a little rainy, and the weather looks a lot better this week in San Francisco. It's going to be partly cloudy, 69 degrees. It should be a great day for football. Purdy had an incredible 2023 season. He was first in rate, first in yards per attempt, and first in yards per catch. The Detroit secondary has to play better than they have the last four or five weeks. They're averaging about 350 yards a game given up. That is simply not going to get it done. If Purdy throws for over 300 yards and McCaffrey goes for over 75, that's almost a guaranteed win for the San Francisco 49ers. Baker Mayfield and Matt Stafford both threw for over 350 yards the last two weeks. They did squeak out wins in those close games, but having C.J. Gardner-Johnson back at the safety position will help, but the corners have to be a lot better they have not been good. The 49ers just have way too much talent at every level of this offense. The wide receivers are really good. Hopefully for them, Debo Samuel is healthy enough to play. The San Francisco 49ers offense is just a lot better when Debo is on the field. They can run all those interesting motion plays out of the backfield when he's there. He can catch balls out of the flat. He can catch the deep ball down the field. And Brandon Ayuk had one of the best years of his career. It's going to be an uphill battle, in my opinion, for this Detroit Lions defense. I think San Francisco scores at least 30 points in this game. So Jared Goff is really going to have to be on the money to keep up with those points. And Jared Goff can Can't do it himself. Amon St. Brown, Sam Laporta, David Montgomery, and Jameer Gibbs all have to contribute in this game. Last week, Montgomery was not very good. 10 carries, 33 yards, but Jameer Gibbs really picked up the slack. 9 for 74 and a touchdown and 8.2 yards per carry. Those running backs are going to be going up against some of the best linebackers in the NFL, Andre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. That battle is really going to determine who wins this game, in my opinion. If the Detroit Lions want to have a chance at winning this game, they're going to need big performances from Montgomery and Gibbs, and they're really going to have to get to that second level and run the ball down the throats of the linebackers of the San Francisco 49ers. I cannot wait for this game. San Francisco 49ers, Detroit Lions, there will be stars all over the field on Sunday, especially pass rushers Nick Bosa and Aiden Hutchinson. I'm going to be watching them close because if they can break through those offensive lines and make a big play, get a strip sack, turnovers are going to be huge in this game. So how do I ultimately think this game plays out? I think the 49ers win this game. They just have too much strength at every single position. They're great on defense. They're even better on offense. They have stars at every single skill position on offense. And they have the best left tackle in the NFL in Trent Williams. The Detroit Lions have a lot of work to do to win this game. And I think Jerichoff and that offense are going to have to be perfect or cause Brock Purdy to turn the ball over at least two times to win this game. The Lions going on the road in this outdoor environment is going to be tough. The Lions are 1-2 and two in their last three road games. They've only scored 19 points, 30 points, and 13 points in those games. They're only averaging around 20 points per game in the last three road games. And Jared Goff on the road is only averaging 229 yards in those three games. Can Jared Goff be better on the road? I think he can. But it's a great defense. It's going to be windy there. It's always windy in San Francisco with the Bay there. So I think it could be tough sledding for Jared Goff. That's why I'm picking the San Francisco 49ers to win this game 31 
24. If you haven't yet, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win this game. I'm super stoked. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate all you guys.